I'm Tarek Alkasab, an emergency radiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. PowerScribe 360's new clinical guidance feature means that radiologists can get access to clinical guidelines and best practices easily right from within the reporting tool, which is their point of care. Let me show you how it works. I'm reading an abdominal CT on my patient, and I notice that she has a nodule in her left adrenal gland. So I want to describe that. I know that there is an American College of Radiology white paper that outlines exactly what kind of follow-up she should be getting, but I don't quite remember what that is off the top of my head. So I want to use the new clinical guidance tool. And so I you go to the clinical guidance tab, and here I have the tools that are available to me. And one of them is adrenal nodule. And one of the things I can do with that is just bring up the flow chart from that American College of Radiology white paper itself, and I can see that here. And I could use that to draft my own language and recommendations, but the tool actually does better than that. I can take out this description that the adrenal glands are unremarkable and then click on adrenal nodule within the clinical guidance tab and start to describe this adrenal nodule using the fields that the tool su supplies to me. So I can say that it is 1.2 centimeters in size. It's on the left side. And right away, it generates appropriate report text for me. So it says a 1.2 centimeter indeterminate lesion in the left adrenal gland remains indeterminate and then generates appropriate impression text and most importantly specifies exactly what the recommendation is. If there's no significant history of malignancy, further evaluation is recommended. If there is, further evaluation with adrenal washout CT is recommended. And inserts a citation saying where the recommendations for adrenal lesion management came from. There are more questions I could answer about the lesion, whether it has macroscopic fat or not, whether its density is less than 10 Hounsfield units, whether it's stable compared to prior, whether the patient has a history of malignancy. And as I change these, it updates the text that would be inserted into the report. So if we said there was macroscopic fat, it would say that it was consistent with a myelolipoma and no additional follow-up is warranted. But let's say that we don't see macroscopic fat in this one. So once we've gotten our description the way we want it, we just click the insert button and it automatically puts the text in the appropriate places in our report. So it puts the description in the adrenals field of our report, right where we had been when we started using the tool. And it puts the impression in the impression field and the citation for the source of our recommendations at the bottom of the, uh, of the report for us. And if I need to make a change to it, for example, I get more information about the lesion or about the patient, I just click on the description of the text and I can go and say, oh, actually this patient has a history of malignancy or, and that we know about. And so I click yes on the history of malignancy and it updates all of the text so that it says that further imaging of the evaluation with adrenal washout CT, MRI, or FDG PET is recommended. And then I click update and it makes the changes to all of the inserted text that it had made and keeps it all consistent with one another. So the tool makes it as easy as possible for me as a radiologist to do exactly the right thing for my patient, make exactly the right recommendation for my patient or not make a recommendation when that's indicated and feel very confident about it.